Um, we had been performing well in the league. Um, just learned a lot of lessons that you know you'd hope we'd absorb and, and learn from. Um, and thankfully we did on the night. I, you know, we, we certainly our, our scoring ratio, our shooting ratio, um, went up, and uh, that was greatly helpful. And the number of goals we got as well. You know, goals do win games, as they say. So all in all, it was helpful, and maybe it was just balanced out. Maybe maybe it was just balanced out about the um, the bit of luck we didn't get in the league to win games. So look, I suppose if you keep knocking on doors, you'll get your breaks, and um, it balances out over time. How satisfying was it though? It's a big game, you know, tip a fancy team, Division 2 team against Division 4, but from your point of view, knowing what the lads can produce, to produce it on that big stage in Central Stadium, it must have been very satisfying for you and the rest of the management team. Yeah, it was satisfying, you know, um, all true. Um, it's, it's, it's fantastic for the players, you know, because they, they're the lads who have to come out, tug out, do all the hard jobs, um, try and absorb all the, the messages we give them over time and the lessons they've they've learned from that winning game. So for them to get the rewards, it, it's just it's, it's fantastic for them because they're the, they the future, you know. They're the, they're the, they're the boys that are going to represent us in the next number of years. And um, and uh, victories like that kind of helps them with their confidence in themselves and their belief in themselves. So it was hugely, um, hugely, hugely important from that point of view. And... Um, you know, look, as I've said, whatever comes up against Cork comes. It's 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 bigger than that for us at this point in time in the journey we're on. And, um, you know, we'll go and we'll have a crack and see how we get on. Speaking of that Cork game, you're going into the Lions then. It may not be Parky Cueve, but Parky Rin's a very difficult place to get a result. But ultimately for Limerick, it's a chance to get into the Munster final. And no doubt you're going to give it everything you have. Yeah, we will. We'll prepare as we would prepared for Tipperary. And um, we'll expect the, the same attitude from the lads and the same preparation and in, in the lead up to it. And um, then on the day, let's hope we can just perform again and find an extra percentage uh, improvement in the performance like like most championship teams that go on a winning streak do. And that'll be the objective. And um, we'll see what, what gets. But look, we must put things in perspective. In my, my, my memory, we haven't beaten Cork since 2003. So that's 16 long years. And um, before that, it was a long period of time. And... Um, while maybe Cork aren't perceived to be at the level that other Cork teams have, you know, over the last number of years. Um, they've been going well in the challenge circuit, kicking 324 against Galway, um, beating Dublin. So, you know, that'll keep everyone's feet in the ground, and yes, for sure.